All right, guys, I'm going to do a real quick review of the Jacob Wheeler uh, buzz bait by Ascent Lures. This is his signature series buzz bait, and uh, I've had the chance to fish it for probably four or five months now. Uh, and it's a really good buzz bait. Um, you know, I had caught quite a few fish on it, uh, had a lot of blow ups. Um, Skirt seems like some good material. Uh, it's an aluminum blade, I believe. That's what it feels like. Aluminum blade. Has a nice squeal. You know, that's something you want in a buzz bait. That squealing, just metal on metal, pain to the ear sound, but it catches fish. Um, it has the right squeak. You know, it's, it's a relatively, it's almost a little bit smaller profile buzz bait. Uh, you know, so it's great like in the fall on the lakes and stuff. And the really neat thing about this, if, if any of you follow Jacob Wheeler, you know he throws, he will often throw a buzz bait with something like a Ray, uh, Rage Toad or a Zoom Horny Toad or like he's sponsored by Gene LaRue. So a lot of times he'll throw the little uh, three-legged frog by Gene LaRue. So he put, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but a little bait keeper on the shank of the bait, just uh, on the shank of the hook. Almost like you'd have on a flipping hook or something like that to where if you want to slide a grub or a, you know, like a, a LaRue uh, Biffle Bug or something like that or, you know, anything grub, you know, like a twin tail grub, anything like that. It has a little, you know, keeper to keep that bait on there, uh, which is something that's really neat, you know, and, and when you put the creature bait or the frog or whatever on the back of there, that actually gives you the ability to skip it, uh, which is, is really nice. You know, that's something you haven't been able to do with, with buzz baits before, and to be able to skip it, it's very valuable, especially on a pressured lake to where a bass may go his whole life up under a dock without ever seeing a buzz bait. Uh, but if you can get it to him, you're doing something different than everybody else, which is a big advantage. Um, as far as critiques go, there's not many. Uh, it's a really good buzz bait. The one thing I would like to see done with this is a longer shank hook. You know, if you look on the Strike King Bleeding Elite, buzz bait the shank on the hooks a lot longer uh, and I would like to see that I think it would improve your hook up a lot better but other than that it seems like a pretty good uh, pretty good bait I would throw it on a seven foot medium heavy uh, this is a quantum smoke rod uh, seven foot medium heavy it's a smoke uh, quantum builds their rods a little bit l more limber uh, so, you know, medium heavy is more like a really, really stiff medium for them. 731 smoke PTA reel. And normally I throw on 17 pound mono. Uh, the mono I throw is extra tough by Berkeley. And uh, 17 pound is fine. If you're in heavier cover, you can go with braid, but your hookup's going to be a lot better with that stretchy monofilament. Um, you know, you have 0% stretch with braid, whereas with mono, you're going to have 10 or 15% at least. So, to have that stretch, it lets that fish eat it a lot better. Uh, but you know, with that fast reel, relatively stiff rod, you'll be able to pull him out of his cup, out the cover, and uh, you know, and it's limber enough to where you'll be able to cast. You know, because it's relatively light bait. Even you know, it's three eighths, but it's still, you know, it's, it's still lighter. You know, so uh, you'll be able to cast it good. If I'm gonna put a trailer on it, I'll most likely go with one of two rods. The first, if I have a smaller trailer, like the small, like baby uh, LaRue Biffle Bug, or if I'm going to put a grub on there or something, I'll go with just an Enigma Fishing. This is the Aaron's Edge Rod, 7 foot medium heavy mag bass with a 7 2 to 1 Shimano Sitica eye on here. And um, probably 20 pound monofilament and or 50 or 60 pound uh, Sunline FX2 braid. Um, you know, and if I'm going to put something like a little swim bait trailer on there, I would, I would almost go with fluorocarbon. I, th I throw a 20 pound uh, Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon, but uh, most of the time it'd be braid or monofilament. And then if I'm going to throw something big, like maybe a Zoom Horny Toad or something like that on the back of there where I'm threading it up, you know, past the head. I'm going to throw the 7.3 medium heavy Enigma signature uh, rod, Air Martin signature series rod, with the same reels at 7.2 to 1 Shimano Sitica. And I'm probably going to go with braid or 25 pound fluorocarbon. Um, but, you know, once again, 50 or 60 pound FX2. And, you know, this is uh, 
a little bit longer rod than the seven foot. So if I have that bigger trailer, you know, it'll be easier to skip because I can control it better. Um, and, it's, and it's a little bit stiffer, you know, so with that heavy, heavy, you know, uh, toad on the back of there, along with that weighted buzz bait, it'll be a lot easier to, to toss on that. Still plenty of rod, you know, plenty of rod to, to hook him and bring him out from under a dock or maybe you skip way up under a bush or something like that. Plenty of rod, um, the right action. So, uh, you know, that's those, both those rods are good choices or all three of those rods are good choices for that buzz bait. But, uh, yeah, you know, the Jacob Wheeler Ascent, uh, the Jacob Wheeler buzz bait by Ascent Lures, really great buzz bait, caught some, some quality fish on them. I love it. Um, you know, not my favorite buzz bait, but it's a good one. You know, ha having that uh, that little keeper on there is a big deal. So uh, that's a review, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button as well as that like button. And uh, thanks for watching.